I have had more questions about my new little home away from home than anything else this year. I wanna answer those questions and show you some of the little fine details that you might have not seen in the first video that I did. Check it out. All you need is a good high-powered lithium cordless drill and this little adapter goes right on there and fits on just like that that's what holds it on and what's cool is unlike other truck campers like I used to have in the past you don't have to get you know the bars or the brackets welded on your frame these are hidden so they strap on the inside of my truck bed and you use those access ports right there from the inside to tighten these up so they go on these four buckles on the corner of the truck and it is so tight and quiet that uh you can take this thing off road and that camper is not coming off love it Here's the access ports on the other side. Everybody wanted to know, you know, what it was gonna be like after my first trip and you wanted a recap and I love it even more. So I had a question about whether you can get through here like on your truck cap when you're in your cab and everything is custom on this thing. You gotta remember that. So this opens up right here, just like a cap. You can get, I mean, you can see I got a little bit bigger window than what's standard, but you can even probably get a little bit bigger one in here. I can actually, fit through there and of course my back window on my tundra that 13 fishing logo slides right down into nowheresville and you got access um, so far i haven't needed it but it's always good to have hot water tank nice and compact air conditioner led lights there's a switch inside the awning after using this a couple times now, I highly recommend this Rhino Rack. Um, it's a bat wing. It's real compact. Travels nice, packs away nice. Comes, well, you've seen it in the pictures. You could look at my last YouTube video from a couple months ago, but it comes around the whole back. I had a lot of questions about this. First time using it, self-explanatory. That is a super cool, deal this is your black water holding tank on wheels slides right in there you'll hear it click clicks right into place just lift that pull it out click it in no issues whatsoever perfect here's the drain for the white water there's other emergency drains there and some close-up views you wanted. Here's a couple of hand cranks in case your battery dies in your drill. There's some awning stakes and ropes and stuff in there. Here's your propane tank. Here's your power hookup. Um, I ran everything off a standard house plug, 220. Didn't even need a 30 amp and had no issues. And your truck plug, which scoots right in there between my bumper. Lots of questions on how do you plug in your boat and the camper because i got the external lights but there you go right there you can get that on amazon plugs right in plug both in no problems we're gonna climb to the top i got a roof rack up here thanks to Britt myers uh, where i could mount my rod tubes and also that is a solar panel which i had no idea how much that was going to come in handy but i went like a, n a whole night and a whole day without charging it and everything was still running, even the freezer. That's Phoenix pop-up camper. Safe to say, you will not be disappointed. With Phoenix, you have options. You design whatever you need. This is for the new Tundra, five and a half foot bed. You can get anything. They make these for Jeeps, anything. I'm telling you, 
crazy. I wanted the extended room because I got a compartment here and one on the other side for my extra tackle boxes, extension cords, a lot of room. I wanted every possible square inch of this that was free space to be some type of uh, storage and they did that. So they are unbelievable. So this goes over top. You know, I have to take my tailgate off and this goes over the end of the truck. You can also get it so it goes inside your tailgate. So you can leave your tailgate on. The whole camper is inside your tailgate and then you're just using your factory lights. Any way you wanna do it, uh, you can do it with Phoenix. All you gotta do is tell them what you want. And there's one thing that I didn't talk about on the inside and that is these. So you don't need these unless you're gonna walk up there. Like I'm gonna put a bona fide on the roof as soon as I get it. And uh, these poles simply go in the corners. So they are what keeps everything tight so you're not putting all your weight on the, uh, on the jacks. Uh, but these jacks are really strong. I put my old kayak up there just to check it out, test it. And uh, it's just an extra safety precaution just to keep everything super nice and tight. So it's kind of like a tent pole. One goes up there in that corner, one goes in that corner, one goes right there, and one goes in that corner. There's the air conditioner, powered it with a regular 220. No, that didn't even use a 30 amp all week in Florida. Somebody asked about windows. Um, you got some good lighting. There's two big bright LED lights up there. You got that light, of course. Got this window and that window. And then all the way around the camper, you have these. So you can pull these down and really let some serious light in. There you go. Windows the entire way around this thing. So thanks for all the questions and as we continue to live on the road this whole season, I'll uh, keep you updated and in the loop. But so far, man, I couldn't ask for anything more. Super sturdy, durable, every last detail, top notch. That's it. Hopefully I answered all the questions. Loving the Phoenix. 